severe weather, flood watches, severe thunderstorm activity, the latest on the uh, tropical scene, it's 4 to 13 AU for the 14th of April 23. Bureau of Meteorology has issued a top priority severe weather warning for damaging winds and heavy rainfall for the Lassiter, parts of the Simpson, Tanami and Barclay districts. Severe tropical cyclone Elsa forecasts to weaken into a tropical low and move quickly across southern Northern Territory on Saturday. Severe tropical cyclone Elsa currently located over the eastern Pilbara in Western Australia is forecast to weaken below cyclone strength over the next 24 hours and expected to move east-southeast into southwestern parts of the Northern Territory as a tropical low early Saturday morning reaching Alice Springs by late Saturday afternoon or evening. Damaging winds averaging 55 to 65 kilometres an hour with peak gusts of around 100 kilometres an hour forecast for parts of the Tanami and the rest of the district early uh, Saturday morning extending to the Simpson and southern parts of the Barclay district during Saturday afternoon and evening. And the key component is heavy rainfall, flash flooding and six hourly rainfall totals we join 50 and 80 millimetres possible. Heavy rainfall, damaging winds also expected to ease across the tsunami and less of the districts during Saturday as the system moves across the southern Northern Territory. Locations that could be affected, Alice Springs, Yulari, UN Dumi, and a couple of other places in tea tree. So that is a severe weather warning. The Bureau will update the flood watch information in the uh, coming hours. And the uh, Bureau has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for damaging winds for the Kimberley, Pilbara, the North Interior District. Severe storms embedded with Elsa's feeder bands continue around Bidayangdanga and adjacent inland areas. Severe thunderstorms likely to produce damaging winds in the warning area over the next several hours. The uh, Bureau has issued a severe weather warning for damaging winds for the southwest, the south coast or in the southeast coastal districts in Western Australia. Isolated damaging wind gusts are possible over the south. This is right down along the uh, southern Western Australia region. Windy Harbour, Albany, Mount Barker, across to Esperance. A 90 km an hour wind gust was recorded at Watness Island at 12 minutes past 6 and the warning area is Albany, Esperance, Bremen Bay, Denmark, Hopeton and Walpole. That's a severe uh, weather warning for damaging winds. Initial flood warnings remain in place for the De Grey weather catchment and the sandy desert. A severe tropical cyclone also is impacting inland areas of the eastern Pilbara and moving towards Telfer. Inland areas of the eastern Pilbara, east of Marble Bar, the areas over the North Interior, including Pangu, but not including Marble Bar and Nullagene, and a couple of other locations under the warning. Intensity Category 3 sustained winds in a centre of 120 km per hour with wind gusts to 165 kilometers an hour located within 35 kilometers of 21 decimal 3 degrees south 121 decimal 3 degrees east estimated to be 105 kilometers west northwest of Telford and 160 kilometers east of Marble Bar the movement is southeast at 28 kilometers an hour category 3 
but continues to weaken. The uh, Bureau's Tropical Cyclone Warning Centre continues to update regularly the uh, warnings. However, there's a gale of wind warning for Leeuwin, Orbney, Esperance and the Kuna Coast and a strong wind warning for the Perth local waters, West Kimberley, the Pilbara Coast East, Pilbara Coast West, Nigaloo, Gascorn, Geraldton, Lesserson, Perth, Bunbury Geography Coast and Millville water, Waters uh, warning has been cancelled. Now here's a couple of uh, tracks on the cyclone but Caligree 3 heading for Caligree 2. Although the Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has finalised their position and there is a possibility that it could track up into the southern uh, Gulf of Carpentaria region. The Bureau of Meteorology via the Tropical Cyclone Three Day Outlook is also monitoring an area of interest. Force 13 has given it 30% in the Solomon Islands region and could also come back for round two. And we saw um, Freddy. Uh, enter the history books. The Bureau's total forecasts of rain. There's three uh, slides, one to three, five to eight, one to eight. Rainfall scale, right hand side of the screen. And as the uh, manager for 13's AU operation, I'll probably push the live button in coming out.